this sort of winged out, colorful, almost tropical fish like look for you today. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start with Suva Beauty's Hydro Cream Base in Mural with this Sigma E17 brush. And I'm going to start drawing a wing like about a centimeter in from the outer corner of my eye. So it's not where you normally draw a wing. It's raised. And I'm just going to be kind of spreading that product out. And then I'm going to take this Hakuhodo J144 smudging brush and I'm going to kind of smudge that out so that it's like diffused nicely. So just going in and adding more of the Hydro Cream base and then smudging it out with the Hakuhodo brush. And now I'm going to start the crease area. So I'm not kind of dipping this down and then going across my crease like I normally do a cut crease. I'm keeping it more of like a rounded shape. So I'm just drawing a line in the crease. And then taking that Hakuhodo smudging brush and kind of softly blending that out. Adding more of the Hydro Cream base. And then blending that out. And I do admit that I don't think I worked quite as fast enough with this eye. And I do see some patchiness, but it's okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my Morphe 35C palette. And I'm going to take that lavender shade there. With a Zoeva 227 brush. And I'm going to be kind of blending that into the transition area of the shape I got going on. And then I'm taking this Morphe Single Shadow in Grape Day with my MAC 239 brush. And I'm going to be applying this closest to the edge of the crease and kind of feeding it downwards. So again, going across the crease. Then taking my Zoeva 227 brush to blend that out. Now I'm just adding some more of that Grape Day shadow just so it's darkest right at the edge of that line. And going in and blending. Next I'm going to take this yellow shade from the Morphe palette with my Hakuhodo J5523 brush and I'm going to be applying this to the inner brow crease area, you know what I mean? That area there. <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking that cranberry shade with my Zoeva pencil brush and I'm applying this in between the yellow and the purple. And then I'm going to take the orange from the 35C palette on the Hakuhodo brush and I'm blending that in between. Next I'm going in with my Wildly Natural Cosmetics Violet Snow Pigment. I have a discount code, it will be in my description box below. And to apply that I'm using this Bare Minerals Shader Brush. You guys know it's my favorite brush for highlighting. And I'm going to take this under the brow bone but also um, under the wing. Because this has a purple tint to it, like a purple iridescence, I wanted this to kind of fade like like a fairy almost. So I'm just using my blending brush to kind of blend that together. And now I'm taking Luxie Beauty's Amused Mineral Shadow. I have a discount code. And the Sigma E21 brush. And I'm applying this closest to the edge. Because it's the darkest color, it's going to add the most dimension. And it has a bit of shimmer to it, so it ties in the iridescence that I already have going on. Now I'm taking Johnny Concert's Wild Thing shadow with my Sigma E56 brush, which I have sprayed Fix Plus right in the pan of the shadow. 
that's just the way I like to work with these shadows. And I'm applying this to the outer half of the lid space that I have. And of course taking my time to kind of perfect the line and the corner of that crease. Next I'm going to take Wonderland Makeup's Dolly Loose Pigment on my Sigma E46 brush, which I have sprayed with Fix Plus, and I'm applying this to the inner half of my lid. And then I'm going to take the other brush that I used for the orange shadow and I'm going to kind of blend them together. Next I'm taking this NYX Vivid Sapphire Liquid Liner, and I'm first starting at the outer corner of the eye, drawing a normal flick. But instead of going on the top lash line, I'm taking that down on the lower lash line. Filling that in. And then I'm going to take this Shea Moisture Cosmetics Blue Eyeliner, which is amazing. I'm applying this to my waterline and also the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this Japanesque Dome Brush and softly blend that out. And then I'm taking NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil, applying this to the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna take Johnny Concert's Electric Heart Shadow and apply this to the inner corner and half of my lower lash line, or more like three quarters. I applied House of Lashes Featherette Lashes and I cleaned up the wing so that there was no extra shadow below that. I kind of just cut it off and made it nice and clean. So this is the finished look. I decided to put Kat Von D Requiem Everlasting Liquid Lipstick on my lips and I went with a coral blush. This is from Wonderland Cosmetics and it's called Cheeky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very colorful and out there and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys on my next video bye